Kumusta na kayo mga kids? Kay bilis ng araw, week 6 na kaagad. This time, ang ating topic, Visualizing Decimal Numbers Using Models and Renaming Decimal Numbers to Fractions. Muli, samahan niyo ako sa ating video ito. The numbers that has a dot after the ones digit is called decimal numbers. These digits after the ones denoted tens, hundreds, and so on. Decimal number can be changed or renamed into fraction form and vice versa. After going through this lesson, you are expected to visualize decimal numbers using models like blocks, creeds, number lines, and money to show the relationship to fractions. You are expected to rename decimal numbers to fractions whose denominators are factors of 10 and 100 to decimals. The 10 cubes represent the whole. 6 out of 10 cubes are shaded cubes. This can be written as 6 tenths in fraction form or 0 0.6 in decimal form. The denominator has 1 0. It tells you that there is one digit after the decimal point in the decimal number. Grid is another way to visualize decimal number. You can observe that there are 100 squares. This means the whole is equally divided into 100 squares. There are 12 shaded out of 100 squares. The 100 squares represent the whole. 12 out of 100 squares are shaded squares can be written as 12 hundreds in decimal form. You will notice that 12 hundreds has two decimal places. Decimal number can be also visualized through number line. There are 100 posts which represent a whole. Out of 100 posts, there are three painted posts. This can be written in decimal form as 0 0.3 and 3 tenths in fraction form. Look at 25 centavo coin. This can be written as 25 hundreds in decimal form or 25 hundreds in fraction form. Here are other examples of decimal number to fraction form. Observe how decimal numbers rename to fraction form and vice versa. Example of one decimal place in decimal form to fraction form and in lowest term. Five tenths in decimal, 0 0.5 in fraction form, five tenths or five over ten in lowest term, that is one half. Four tenths or 0 0.4 in fraction form, that is 4 over 10 or 4 tenths. Lowest term, 2 pips. 8 tenths or 0 0.8 equals in fraction form, that is 8 over 10 or 8 tenths. Lowest term, that is 4 pips. 
9 tenths or 0 0.9 in fraction form that is 9 over 10 or 9 tenths. The lowest term of 9 tenths is also 9 tenths. Example of two decimal places. Decimal again to fraction form and in lowest term. 0 0.25 or 25 hundredths in fraction form that is 25 over 100 or what 25 hundredths. The lowest term of 25 hundredths is 1 fourth. 50 hundredths or 0 0.50. In fraction form, that is 50 over 100 or 50 hundreds. The lowest term of that is 1 half. 40 hundreds or 0 0.40. In fraction form, that is 40 hundreds or 40 over 100. The lowest term of 40 hundreds is 2 pips. 35 hundreds or 0 0.35. In fraction form, that is 35 over 100 or 35 hundreds. And the lowest term of that is 7 over 20. For learning task 1, show the following decimals using grids. Write your answer in your notebook. Para sa number 1, 9 tenths. Isang buo, hinati sa sampo, then kulayan mo ang 9. And that is 9 tenths. Para naman sa number 4, 5 and 6, ating sagutan ng number 4, 21 hundreds. One whole, equally divided in 100 equal parts. Then, kulayan mo lang ang 21 and that is 21 hundreds for learning task 2 show the following decimals using number lines write your answer in your notebook let us answer number 1 2 tenths etong ating number line then Shadean mo ang 2 tenths. And that is 2 tenths. Para naman sa number 4, 5 and 6, sagutan natin ang number 4, 5 tenths using number line. And that represents 5 tenths. For learning task 3, show the following decimals using cubes. Write your answer in your notebook. For number 1, 7 tenths. Lagay ka lang ng 10 cubes. Then, shaden mo ang 7. And that represents 7 tenths. For number 4, 2 tenths. 10 cubes, then shaden lang ang dalawa. At yan ay 2 tenths. Para sa learning task 4, rename the following decimal form into fraction form. Write your answer in your notebook. Decimal form to fraction form. Let us answer number 1, 75 hundreds. In fraction form, that is 75 over 100 or 75 hundreds. Then, i-divide mo sa 25 na kanilang GCF para lumabas ang 3 parts. And that is the lowest term of 75 hundreds. For number 2, 35 hundreds, 35 over 100. The lowest term, i-divide natin sa 5. And the answer is 7 over 20. For number 7, 
Fifteen hundreds. In fraction form, fifteen over one hundred or fifteen hundreds. I divide natin sa five. And the lowest term is three over twenty. For number eight, ninety-five hundreds. In fraction form, ninety-five over one hundred. Change the lowest term. I divide natin sa five pareho. And the answer is 19 over 20. For learning task 5, rename the following fraction form into decimal form. Write your answer in your notebook. For number 1, 5 tenths. In decimal form, that is 0 0.5. Number 2, 8 tenths. In decimal form, yan ay 0 0.8. For number 6, 6500s. In decimal form, yan ay 6500s or 0 0.65. Number 7, 6000s. In decimal form, 0 0.60 or 60 hundreds. Maraming salamat sa inyong pananood. Pwede kayo mag-like, mag-comment, at i-share ang ating mga videos. Huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe at pindutin ang notification bell para updated kayo para sa ating mga bagong videos. Hanggang sa muli, paalam!